I've seen everyone try Madison Beer's Vogue makeup tutorial. Madison Beer is an elite level of pretty, so I totally understand why everyone wants to look like her. Aside from a few things, I almost have every product she used, so let's get into it. This is gonna be very different than how I typically do my makeup. Okay, she starts with the Glossier Skin Tint. She applies a very small amount. This gives an extremely light, glowy coverage. Okay, I forgot the part where she did the soap brow, so I'm going back a step. She does a soap brow, I'm gonna use Pink Honey. She has these beautiful full brows. I don't really have that, so I don't like soap brows on me, but I'll still do it. That's as good as we're gonna get with the soap brows. <laughs> NAS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and she's pretty generous with it. Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Am I starting to look like Madison Beer? All right, if you wanna see the finished look, go to part two. Welcome to part two of me recreated Madison Beer's Vogue makeup tutorial. Cream blush. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one, so I'm gonna use Rare Beauty. She's very generous with it, and she puts it on the nose. I don't like putting blush on my nose. <laughs> then she sets everything with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I love this, I've hit pan. Fenty bronzer. I low-key feel like a different person right now. She also contours her nose. Then she adds more blush. I don't have the one she used. I'm going to use ColourPop Love Story. And I don't know. I'm just adding a little more, I guess. Okay, now she does the eyes. She uses the Madison Bia Morphe palette. I don't have that. I'm going to use ColourPop Stone Cold Fox. She starts with a really light shade all over the eye. She has a brown in the crease. She takes the Morphe X Madison Bia brush. And she creates this gentle fox eye. Fox eyes on my eye shape are a fat no. <laughs> Highlighter. I'm gonna add two, just like she did. Morphe and Cover FX. Go to part three. <laughs> Welcome to part three of me following Madison Beer's Vogue makeup tutorial. We've just added the cream highlighter. Okay, she uses the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. This mascara is one of my least favorite mascaras of all time, so I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> she has these beautiful full lashes, which I don't have, so I'm gonna do what I can to get that. Okay, I was able to get into this without adding falsies. I used the Nas Climax Extreme and the Maybelline Sky High. This is my favorite combo. Also, if you don't have a lot of lash hairs, you can add a little bit of the Adele individual lashes to give you a little bit more. I also added a brown liner on the bottom because she has like a natural liner from how thick her lashes are, so I gave myself a little bit of that. She overlines her lips with a nude liner. She keeps her cupid's bow. She lined the edges but didn't really fill it in. She adds a lip oil. She has beautiful freckles, so I'm gonna give myself some. I'm just using Freck. I am giving my brows some color because I could not deal with how light they were. I look like a completely different fucking person. Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. I am literally over the moon about the new Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Pencil. I have been saying for years there was a need that needed to be filled. Make brow pencils thinner. It would be so much easier. One thing I will say is I do not like packaging like this. It's a little uncomfortable to hold when you're actually doing the brows. This is an ultra fine 0.9 millimeter tip. It's supposed to be the smallest brow pencil on the market right now. Waterproof, smudge proof, 24 hour wear. Let's try it out. I'm just going to do my brows like I normally would. I typically line the bottom first. That was easy. <laughs> And then I like to flick up. Oh my gosh. It's so easy. <laughs> Do the other side. Pretty much just flick up until I'm perfectly happy with it. This is shade soft black, by the way. That is smooth. That was one of the smoothest and easiest brow applications I've had in a while. And the color, perfect for my hair. I'm gonna give this an 11 out of 10.